Hey, what's up everyone? This is Walter once again, but we're back here with a new subreddit today. I've been talking about it for a while now, but here it is, Reddit Relationships, the place for people to post about their relationship problems. I might also read posts from Am I the Asshole in these videos if something good comes up. So this one's like dating hell except for after you're already in a relationship. I've been reading it for a few weeks and now we're ready to make a video. This is Crazy Stories from Reddit Relationships. Let's just get started then. This story has been removed from Reddit by now, but I still have the text for it, and it's the reason I decided to make this video today. It will definitely make some people mad, though. So let's read it. My, female 25, husband, male 30, killed my cat when I was away and replaced her with an identical cat, expecting I wouldn't notice, and now I can't trust him and I want a divorce and he thinks I'm overacting. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I live with my husband in a small suburb house we rent. We have one cat. A pitch black, yellow-eyed cat named Smokey. I've had her for seven years. My husband and I have been married for four years, living together for five years, so I had Smokey before this relationship started. I went on a three-week-long business trip. When I came home, my husband welcomed me and acted completely normal. Smokey didn't welcome me, so I called for her. Husband told me she must have been napping or something. I found Smokey hiding under an armchair in the living room and thought that she must be spooked since I was gone for three weeks. I got down on the ground to reach out and pet her, and, well, I've had my cat for seven years. I know every single whisker of hers. The pitch black, yellow-eyed cat was not Smokey. Once she got out from under the armchair, I confirmed that, yep, this is not my cat. I asked my husband what's up with Smokey, and he just waved his hand, said she's just excited to see me and whatever. I felt like in a fucking Twilight Zone episode. I told my husband that this is not Smokey. He looked at me as if I have grown another head and asked me, what do I mean? I repeated that this is not my cat. Where is my cat? He kept assuring me that this is my cat. I honestly started getting kind of panicked and hysterical. I'm not proud of it, but I ended up screaming at him to cut the bullshit and tell me what the hell happened to my cat since this is not Smokey. He called me an insane bitch and just drove off. I felt so crazy and shaken I called my sister to come over. I pulled up photos of Smokey on my laptop, told my sister to compare, and to just look at how the cat is behaving. The cat knew the house, obviously, but regarded me as a stranger. My sister confirmed that the cat is very similar to Smokey, but small details give her off. Eye hue, facial shape. All those things you just notice when you own an animal for seven freaking years. My husband came home later on, and my sister and I confronted him again. He finally broke down and admitted that just a few days into my business trip, he stepped on Smokey in such a way that it killed her. Broke her ribs, punctured her lungs. He rushed to the vet, but the vet could only end her suffering since she was dying. First of all, how do you step on a cat this hard? Did he stomp? I'm still so shocked and angry. Anyways, following some stupid freaking logic the way people do when they replace a dead hamster or a dead fish to trick their small kids, he spent a week going through cat shelters everywhere to get a similar cat. Color, build, age. He had the nerve to end this by telling me that he doesn't see what the big deal is. He didn't want to tell me about the death because he didn't want to upset me, and he went really out of his way to get a same looking cat, so I have no reason to be angry. He killed my pet, lied to me, and most of all, what the hell is with that approach? I feel like he considers me to be a stupid child. Either he thinks I'm the stupidest person alive, or he is one. Either way, this is just an absolute breach of everything for me that the same day I told him that I'm packing my shit and moving over to my sister's place. Also, I'm getting the divorce papers next day. He freaked out, crying, saying how much he loves me, then getting angry and yelling at me that I would let a stupid animal ruin all we had. He even tried to use the poor not Smokey as a way to keep me, threatening to give her to a kill shelter. Needless to say, I did include not Smokey in the stuff I packed. As much as I absolutely hate my husband right now, the poor kitten did nothing wrong. The following day, I was absolutely flooded by messages from both sides of the family. Apparently, the story my husband sent out is that he accidentally killed our cat, spent the day and night apologizing to me and crying, but I yelled at him and insulted him and yada yada. No word about the cat swap and treating me like a child slash idiot and calling me an insane bitch when I didn't play along. How the hell do I continue? Divorce is a must. We didn't have children. The house was rental. I love my in-laws. Should I tell them my version? Looking back on all this, I'm writing this two days after it all happened. I'm obviously still insanely upset, but I'm wondering if I'm throwing my marriage under the bus over a small thing. Or are just my in-laws' messages getting to me? How would you react if this happened to you? I'm very emotional now. I'm also absolutely not over Smokey's death. 
Not Smokey is coping fine and enjoying her life in my sister's household. So apparently the story was actually from Reddit relationship advice. Close enough. Anyway, this is insane. I've never heard of someone killing a cat by accidentally stepping on them. I'm sure it's technically possible, but it can't be too easy. That aside, this guy is nuts. As you may know, my mom had a Yorkie up until fairly recently that I've spent a lot of time with, and I'm not even sure I'd be able to tell them apart from another one because they all look really similar. But it would take about two seconds to notice it wasn't him from the behavior compared to any other small dog I've met. I think the subreddit might have decided the story wasn't real, and that's why it's deleted, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it was. Please feel free to leave angry comments about the husband, who decided to not only kill her pet, but also try to convince her that she was just crazy to get out of the situation. Thankfully, that didn't work. Okay, this next one was making the rounds back in November, I think. Anyway, it's funny, and I never covered it back then, so let's check it out. My, 28 female, boyfriend, 29 male, of two years will not stop talking in a fake Italian-American accent and keeps making up foreign words. Throw away because he uses Reddit, and also because this is kind of embarrassing? Okay, to preface this, I love my boyfriend and he is a super sweet, nice, smart guy that I feel lucky to have, but his behavior lately is freaking me out and makes me worried for the future. My boyfriend loves movies, especially mob movies. He has all the Sopranos DVDs at his place, and I'm pretty sure he still watches them that way. That's fine, obviously, you can watch and enjoy whatever you want, but last week he saw The Irishman with some friends, and since then he will not stop talking in like a fake stereotypical mobster accent. We were in an Uber the other night after going out to dinner, and admittedly the driver was going a little fast, but my boyfriend kept muttering things like, Who's this fucking guy, huh? Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here, and shouting ho as we took corners. He would not shut up and even gave the driver a one-star review saying it was about respect. Everyone has their quirks, I get it, and they can be what makes someone special. At first it was even kind of cute slash funny, but I just can't really understand this shift all of a sudden. It's been a week and he continues to make asides in this voice, and when he gets drunk he speaks in made-up Italian. Like we were having desert at my sister's, and he came up to me and said, Hey Ma, I gotta get home and hit the drippini. I'm the designated driver, I don't drink, so I asked him why he wants to leave and what a drippini is. His response was, you know, like a shower. Drippini is not a word, in any language. He also never called me Ma before ever, and now he does it almost all the time. I feel crazy, like this is going to be a permanent feature of his personality now? I know this sounds incredibly stupid compared to some of other serious issues on here, but I'm just really nervous about what this means about his personality slash mental health. He really is a sweet, loving guy with a wonderful family, and we have a lot in common, but just like, I don't even know how to begin to approach this. I want to tell him off and be like, why do you keep doing this voice, can you please stop? We don't live together, so thankfully it's not a constant thing, but like, what if we did and it was? Is this the kind of thing you just deal with when it's someone you love? Edit, I just want to add that he's not Italian at all either, so I'm also worried people will get offended when we're out or something. God, that one cracks me up. Anyone old like me and remember the episode of Seinfeld with the voice? Or if not, remember when Pokemon Go came out and everyone was really gung-ho about playing it for like a month? And then inevitably got tired of walking around town for no reason? Yeah, it's unlikely this guy's still talking like this several months later. I just wanted to share the story. It does vaguely make me want to start using the word Drapini, though. Anyway, we have one more story to cover, and I think the video is going to go a bit long here, because this one is amazing. I'm, female 22, in love with my best friend, male 26. He won't leave his loser girlfriend, female 24, for me. No, the title makes me seem like a bitch, but I couldn't think of another way to summarize it in one go. We'll call him Dean and we'll call his girlfriend Helen. Basically, I'm a university student and I interned at a marketing company over the last few summers. Dean was my boss there and we became really close friends. Our friendship moved outside of work and I no longer interned there at all. The more we talked, the more I fell for him. He's incredible, hardworking, successful, funny, the whole package. His girlfriend is not, in my opinion. She's actually a loser. She's uneducated and unemployed. Helen dropped out of high school because of family problems. Apparently her mom has severe anxiety and depression, overdosed multiple times when Helen was a kid, and would have breakdowns slash threatened to hurt herself if she was left alone. So Helen stayed home with her, and still does when necessary, because her father can't get retired. Over the years, Helen had admitted its weight on her own mental health. She sees a psychiatrist and takes medication. She's developed her own irrational anxiety. She's had some jobs over the years, in the hours her dad is home with her mom from work, 
but would have screaming slash crying panic attacks while on the job. She has them at home sometimes too, at night. But she can calm herself down okay, apparently. Subsequently, she's never finished school or held down a job. Dean and I have talked about it many times. He insists she's doing her best, that she does all the cooking, cleaning, laundry, yard work, etc. at her home. She gets a very small amount of money from her father for this weekly. She also does video game streaming and makes some money from that. Barely any, I think. Oh god, you think he's gonna leave a streamer girl for you? Good luck, this guy's living the life. They've been together for five years and he's come to terms with the fact that she may never work or get educated. Dean has a marketing degree, but he doesn't seem to care. He says he will provide financially and he's okay with her being a stay-at-home mom someday, or even just a stay-at-home wife. I DM'd him asking why he's even in love with her, how he fell in love with her, just why. I don't get it. He can do so much better. He said this, I fell in love with her for many reasons. She's sweet, kind, cute, and she always sees the best in people, even with everything she's been through. I think she's funny, beautiful, intelligent, and is always trying to do some good. I like that she's random, silly, quirky, and passionate as fuck. I like how competitive she is, because I'm competitive too. I like that she's athletic. I like how she cooks things, top of the dome, without the need to Google everything, like me. I love her giggle, and I really love her smile. I like her singing voice, and well, all of her voices. I like her hugs, and I love her kisses. I like when her fingers are in my hair. I like the things that she draws or makes from hand. I like it when she holds my hand. I like her taste in memes, and I like her taste in music. I like her puns, and her sense of humor. I really like her presence, and I like her dance moves, and how good she is at everything. I like that she likes to help people. I genuinely like the person that she is, always have. I admire her a lot, and will always want her for myself. I told him how I felt about him, how I'm in love with him, and that I wish she wasn't around. He said, well, I'm lucky that she is. I don't know what I'd do without her. Notice everything she says makes her look worse and the couple look better? I'd think it was shitposting if it wasn't for the supplementary material. That's right, Ma. Better grab that drippini because we have screenshots and updates coming up. Let's get back to it. I told him he's just comfortable and he's staying with her because it's been a long time. That I've been at a place in my life where I thought I couldn't go on without certain people, but I survived, and he would too. He said this, Well, I don't want to, so I'd appreciate you not saying things like, I wish she wasn't in the picture. That's awful. If you cared at all about me, you'd say that I'm lucky to have her and respect that, you know? So he adamantly won't leave her, and I don't understand why. With the little money she earns, she saves up to do some very special things for him. Got him a cameo from his favorite actress, took him to see his favorite sports team in the playoffs, got him a PS4, she's taking him to his favorite band this summer. She also does sweet stuff for him, like give him random cards, drawings, paintings, crap like that. I think maybe that's the real reason he stays with her. But I could do that stuff for him too. She's had years to do it. I'm studying hard. I work as a barista to get through school. I love talking to him. I love spending time with him. He means the world to me. Does anyone have advice on how I can win him over? I just want him for myself. I'm the better choice for him. He just doesn't realize it right now. What can I do here? Edit. Some people think I'm shitposting. I'm not. Here's some of our DMs. How materialistic are you? You're really going to support some stupid bitch for the rest of your life? That's really insane. It's none of your business. Why do you apologize if you're still going to be like this? Because I don't think you realize how dumb what you're choosing for yourself is. She's not worth it. You could have someone who is your equal. Listen, I don't have to argue with you about who I'm going to marry, lol. You want to talk? We can talk about anything you want except my relationship, otherwise I won't be replying. You looked out for me, so I'm just looking out for you. I'm just being a good friend. She has no job, though, and I do. Yeah, you're a real treat. At least I'm not a broke bitch. You work at a coffee shop and rent a room, lol. Yeah, which is more than she does, isn't it? No, actually. Call my girlfriend a bitch one more time. Call them like I see them. No one else would do that. You're still talking to me. You didn't give up. Just trying to look out. Doesn't seem like you have anyone else. Anyone would do the same. Not any guy I've met before. I just wish she wasn't in the picture, I guess. Okay, she already covered how this ends, but holy shit. This guy is like a saint for the fact that he's even still talking to her. She seems way worse in the messages than the story, and the story was pretty bad. So someone actually convinced her to link him to the post on Reddit? 
Like all the stories today, it's no longer around, but we can still read his reply. Let's check it out. L, you linked me to this post so I could understand you better, and now I do. I love my girlfriend more than life itself. I've been with her for five years for a reason. Not because of what she can offer me financially, but because of who she is as a person. That's what matters to me. I'll work three jobs if it means keeping her. For example, she once spent two hours traveling in the rain to bring my sick mom some homemade soup. Money doesn't buy that kind of heart. I never told you that story because you would get emotional and angry with me for even bringing up my girlfriend. I tried to be your friend because you seemed lonely when we worked together. You said your roommates don't talk to you and your family is back in your home country. We never had a future together. It's not even a possibility. I will protect that woman at all costs and it really hurts me to see you talking shit about her to strangers on the internet. I hope you'll have the integrity to take this down. Maybe it's best we don't stay friends for now and see where things head. You sent me the link to this thread, and then you immediately blocked me on Instagram? Why? I don't understand what you want from me at this point, but it's no longer worth my energy. If you're ready to grow up and respect my relationship, give me a call. Well, goddamn. She's kind of like a nice girl, except her claim to fame instead of being nice is... having a job? An entry-level job at that. I'd at least expect her to be wealthy before trying that angle. Well, that was pretty horrible, but this is a pretty long video for me, so I think it's time to wrap things up. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. If you have something to say about one of the stories, and who doesn't, honestly, let me know what you have to say in the comments to appease the algorithm. If you're new here, subscribe for more content. Sometimes I put videos out. Hopefully that'll be happening more here. Thanks also to my generous patrons. I try to wait for a video that's going to get a lot of views to shout them out so soon here. But as you know, I like to say fuck, and YouTube doesn't really like that, so this helps me make money. We'll probably be talking about neckbeards or something very soon. Make sure you let me know if you liked this video or didn't, because I might decide to cover this more often or less based on feedback. I personally like the relationship stories, but they might not be for everyone. Anyway, have a great day, everyone, and make sure to give your cat or dog some attention today. R.I.P. Smokey.